<laughs> oh, you, you're that <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> you love those cupids and arrows and all those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Morning Life. Thank you so much for having it's me. It's really yeah. nice to have you. And I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen you. I had the opportunity of congratulating you for winning Idols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was in 2013, though. 20, hey? Yeah, 2013. So I'm a bit late. I'm a bit late. I know that. It's never too late. But how's it been since then? It's been wonderful. Like, my life has taken a beautiful change. So many things have been happening as a part of my life. I've been traveling. I get nominations everywhere. Yeah. So it's working out quite well for me. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, because you came in, you were uh, singing in vernacular. You had a fan base that uh, people could only dream of. And you really, I suppose, came in there and, and almost changed the dynamics quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. You know, like, I, 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 because I love African music. Yeah. Like, um, so I stuck to that. And it worked for me for a while. And I guess everyone else looked at it and got me, it opened up a very huge door for me. Yeah, well, I'm sure it did, because here I sit with your, your debut album in front of me now, something yeah. I imagine um, a dream for you coming yeah. true, and that's why it's called The Dream. Yeah. Talk yeah. to me about this debut album of yours. Um, my debut album is titled The Dream. Um, I, I had a chance to work with quite a number of people on it. Um, I worked with Robin Malinga on the album. I've worked with Afro Traction. And I got a chance to work with with Rob Roy. I worked with Cabo. Wow! So it was it was it was quite a beautiful process recording the album. And now I'm busy trying to make sure the album goes big. Yeah. Well, how's how's it been so far? When did when was it actually released? Because um, the album ago. was released last year, sometime in April. And how how the sales? How's it looking? Um, the sales are actually looking quite good. They actually started picking up more this year. Good. Um, starting January, like. Everything was just moving even faster. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but something, <laughs> but it's is something just good is happening. Yeah. But it's not that you are you working on another album at the moment, or is it sort um, of just to to get mm, this one out bigger? I think at this point, it's just for me to actually make this album bigger. Good. I haven't started working on anything yet. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I've been doing, I've just been in the studio doing collaborations with people like Heavy K and DJ Spoo. So I've just been having fun in, yeah. in different studios, working with different people all the time. That's amazing. And, and fun is going to be had on Valentine's Day because uh, you're giving this, this, uh, this performance, Magic for One Night Only. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about this evening. Um, it's an evening of love, man. You know, I, I decided, like, I've been doing all these things, traveling, being booked for gigs. I've never really sat down and gave South Africa the real me in an unplugged situation. So I finally got that chance to say, okay, let me do this and bring it to the market theater. Um, a theater that I've always loved because I've been in the streets of Joburg for a while. So when I had the opportunity to bring it to Joburg, I was like, market theater it is. Yeah. So it's like making it a dream night, you know, Valentine's type of thing where yes, yeah. people fall in love again. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's really yeah. beautiful. I mean, you have the voice, even, even when you're speaking, it sounds romantic. And, mm -hmm. and, and sexy and gorgeous. So, I mean, it's just, you're made for this. Yeah, I guess, you know, love yeah? is me. Is that you? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have anyone significant in your life? Not at the moment, you know. Um, oh. I actually had a fallout a couple of months ago. So Did you? I, I was so, like, uh, okay. We're free and available. I'll give out your Twitter handle. <laughs> you know, we, we, we like to hang, <laughs> we, we hook a lot of people up that way here oh, on the wow. program. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Morning I don't think Live. you need it. I don't think you need it, though. I really don't. Um, Musa, how would you describe your style? What is the, the, the kind of vibe that you, you give out in your music? Um, my music is more Afro pop. It's Afro soul, basically, because I'm a very soulful person. So my music has got is like packed up with a lot of soul. It's R and B. It's 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 love music. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, you're going to be playing a track for us at the end of the show. Uh, which one are you going to be playing? Um, I'm going to do a track called Ang Sagwaz. Okay. Yeah, it's the first track on my album. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, we look forward to hearing it. Um, in order to get tickets for the show, where do people go? Um, they can find all tickets at CompuTicket. They can log on to CompuTicket or go to the nearest CompuTicket to find tickets. Um, and for more info, they can just um, look for me on Twitter. You know, my Twitter handle is at Musa The Voice. Okay. Or find me on Instagram at Musa The Voice. All right. More info is right there. Excellent. At Musa The Voice. Available and looking.